Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the A2338 M1 MacBook Pro. This is the late 2020, so it's a pretty new MacBook Pro. It's the one that, that recently did come out. Um, it's a very nice machine. We actually have it in here for repair. And if you can't already tell, uh, this is missing something. Uh, you might ask what it is. Um, if it's not too obvious, obviously it's a screen. You can see that the laptop actually came in like this. The frame is a little bit destroyed. You can actually see some of the dents here that actually go on the side. And so you're asking, where's the screen at? So well, let's show you the screen. And this is the actual screen that we actually did come in here with it. You can see actually the, the cables are torn. You can see that the cables are actually pretty torn here. And it is pretty damaged. Like it bends however you want it to bend. So here take a look at this angle even look at the ridge here that goes on you can see the the whole frame everything here it's been really damaged this isn't a foldable phone this isn't actually a foldable display but it looks like someone really tried to to really really try to 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 make sure they can try to roll it up or fold it up or something like that so because it is pretty damaged but anyways, you can't really do that. I don't think there is a, a way you can really, really force it in like that. I don't believe you can really do that anyway if you really tried. Um, from what we actually understood here is that this actually went through customs. And it was open in the bag during customs. And the rest is kind of what you just see here. So that's just what the customer told us. Who really knows the story? Usually if it's something like this, and there has to be some type of huge impact or something really, really damaged with the screen here. So the screen's totally gone. But at least the, the screen protector kind of helped it a little bit. You can see here, there's actually a screen protector for it. So it did help it a little bit, you know. So, I'm just kidding. But anyways, so what we're going to be doing is uh, showing you how to do a full screen replacement on this. Um, you can see, if you do have any uh, parts that are broken off, especially this bad here. this The hinges are actually broken off here. And they're still in the frame of the actual laptop here. That's fine. That's just where they're screwed in. Um, we can take it off, especially if you put in a new screen, you can just take it off and put it back on. So there's no real issues there. Um, if it was anything else, like if the whole frame of this actually got damaged, if the whole frame really got damaged here, like if it was too much, too bent or anything like that, then that would be a different type of story. Maybe you had to get a palm rest or maybe just a back cover, or bottom cover or something like that. So we're not really too worried about anything else there. Um, but what we're going to be doing is just replacing the screen. So let's just get into that. So this is actually a good... Way to show it, and you know, this is just kind of how it is. You, know, you shouldn't play with food or anything, but it's just kind of the way it is. Look how bad it is. Like, it's really, <laughs> it's hard to say that this is like anything but like a machine did this. Like, this is a serious impact actually that happened to the screen. Even the cables here are totally ripped, and that's a really bad thing. You know, <laughs> it's like these are totally ripped, the back cable is everything. I think I can leave this as a prop for you guys, huh? Like, get on the side. There you go. All right. So just do a few screws around here. And this is a newer one. This is the M1 MacBook Pro. So it's a quite a bit nicer. It's very new. M1 chip in there. And if you checked out our other video, we actually did have another one on just uh, us having little first impressions on it. And again, this is the A2338 MacBook Pro M1 13 inch. We will be doing, and of course, of like all Max, they put the little suction there. This makes it a little bit more difficult to, to open it. Uh. There you go. So the clips there. You just open it like that. Um, take a suction cup. It does help. And what you want to do is at least get underneath here, and then this will lift it up. You don't want to pull this completely out because once you pull this out completely. Um, you don't want to totally pull this out because if you pull this out completely, it's going to uh, go. So you can just pop it just like that. All right. And now I'll show you where the clips are. The clips are here on each side, left and right. So that's why it won't be um, one of those things where you just, just take it up like that. They are clipped down and they do push up against the laptop a little bit here. Um, you can see it's very nice, very clean. It's the M1 style of the MacBook. Very nice machine. So what you want to do always, you want to start with um, definitely making sure that you remove the battery. 
So actually on this one, uh, this one does, did turn on uh, when it was here. You can actually, it's on right now. It's hard to see that. Cap you can't see the caps light. And now you can kind of see the caps light. It's actually on right now. And thing is, um, this has a sleep wake feature. When you do open up the screen, it's going to actually op uh, sleep and wake. And it's not even a sleep wake, but it's also a power on feature. So if you open and close the laptop lid, it will actually turn on and turn off. Well, turn on itself. And we've held the button down, but it's still kind of turning on itself over and over again. So as, as I as the customer dropped it off, it's still been like that. So let's just make sure. Let's take out the battery. And the battery is here. It's connected here. What you want to do is just always be careful because this is a little bit of a latch here. You want to um, take up the tape. If it hasn't been opened, this you can definitely tell the tape is, is very nice and new. And there will be a little latch here. You can just take a fingernail, but you want to be very careful. And you can just pull out this cable. Once you pull out the cable, then you're all good to go because the battery isn't connected. Um, now what we want to do is we want to actually remove the screen itself. And you can actually see here, this is one of the parts that's been broken. It kind of lifts a little bit. You see that? It's really lifted. And that looks like because it's broken on the piece. This is actually where the connection is here. And it doesn't look like anyone's worked on it, but that's just probably from the physical damage. So you want to do a lot of screws here. So we want to focus on... We want to focus on the sides here, and then there's about 12 screws on each side. For this, this is the Wi-Fi um, antenna, or the Wi-Fi piece, or whatever you want to call it. And then this is um, the metal piece here. Is uh, if you get a new screen, they usually don't do have these pieces. These are just to, to protect the cables that go there. And then there's a lot of screws that go in here. So let's just get into it. It's not even worry about anything else. So when you want to do this, the first one you want to take out is uh, the main connection here. This is from the going from underneath the board and it's going to be connected directly to the LCD. So it's the LCD main cable. And you want to make sure you take that out first. Or at any point, it doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. But you don't want to forget about it because uh, if you do damage that cable, um, it's you would have to uh, flip the board, open it up because the cable it connects from the bottom side of the board. So it will go, the connection on the other, on the board is actually underneath this connection here. So. Uh, you would have to open up the board and then completely, and then replace the cable if you had any rips or damages there. Um, it should, it's pretty hard to rip that cable, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So this is just a plate that goes on. If you've done any of the other ones, or you've seen us do any of the other ones, any 2016, any 1706, 1708, uh, 1707, they're all very similar, 1990, uh, all these are very similar screen replacements. Uh, they have a little, uh, very. they look very similar, and I expect this to be about the same. So we want to take off this latch, and this is going to flip. This is the cable that goes underneath. And especially if you have liquid spills or anything like that, you just want to check to make sure there's no um, damage, any corrosion, or any pins that are bent there. Because once it comes off, then now you're not worried about the actual board being damaged here. So you want to look under here. They make this one hidden um, <coughs> for good reason, too, because it uh, doesn't need to be in the way. So you can take this off. This is a little piece. What it's gonna, what's under here, is actually the Wi-Fi antenna cables. Why it's so sticky? It's very sticky. Okay, there you go. Here, so you'll see this is actually attached to underneath here. It's gonna go underneath. So you, what I like to do, you can do it a few ways. You can use your your hands, or you can just grab a little like flat piece of plastic and look how easy that comes off. You want to get a good feel for it and be really careful because it's very easy to damage. And if you damage the connection here, you're damaging the board connection. Just remove this one screw and now we're done. So we're worried about, now we're not worried about this anymore. Now we can just focus on removing the screen itself. All right, so these screws are actually really important. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit later when I put them back on. And these screws are for holding in pretty much the, the screen to the board to the Wi-Fi connector from the screen to the board there and if you put them in uh, not too great you can actually hear a rubbing noise if it's not pushed in all the way and you'll hear it like if you bend the laptop you'll definitely hear it so we'll go over that right when I put it back in and they're very important screws so you want to make sure you put them in the same exact order that you took it off uh, I would always recommend doing all of that I wouldn't do that uh, but especially for this one Well, you can see that's totally busted. So that shouldn't come up like that. This should be attached with cables, but obviously the cable has been ripped. Uh, but you can see, yep, that's the damaged one, but they ripped cables. So there's no real shortcut to that because uh, the Wi-Fi antenna goes in between the cables that are going to be here. 
So now we can just remove the sides here. And this is what we're going to be seeing is with the hinges. Oh. So this is the part that we're talking about. And that's what's connected right here. That's what's going on the inside. So the hinges are good, man. Like uh, they do a really good job. This is a very high quality metal piece. Um, there's a real, they, they do a really good job with hinges. You don't see them. I mean, obviously there's an impact like this. You're not going to be able to do too much. But I mean, for as high quality hinges, you never really see MacBook back covers or hinges go ever, especially on the older models too. Uh, they make them with metal and they make it a pretty nice, uh, sturdy hinge there. So, okay, that's removed. And now we have our fun parts. So now once you're done with that, you can, this usually lifts up, you can pull up like this, you go towards this way, you're pulling up. I like to put my fingernail underneath these little holes here, and once you do that, it'll bend more up like that. So you're going this motion, and you want to be careful, you don't want to totally just rip this out yet, because you have the, the actual Wi-Fi antennas that are still here, and they go underneath the bar here. So you'll see it slides right through right here. And once you take that out, then you got the screen totally out. And uh, now you can just replace it with another screen. All right, so when you get the new screen, you're going to see them kind of look uh, similar to this. You see all the connections, and this is the cables. And let me compare it to the, to the broken one. So this is what, what's really important here. You see those cables and the connection, especially the board here at the bottom? That's the important stuff. So obviously it's broken and the hinges usually come with the screen replacements too. So you don't really have to worry about them too much. You pull the cables up here and now it should be fine. So there we go. Hear that click? That's a good click. It's just clicking on this side. And as you bend down, I'm pushing in uh, the hinges on the sides so they match up. So it's not going to be awkward when it falls. So you see like this, push them in as they go. Um, you can also screw them in on that side if you want to make sure they're more leveled. Um, because if you don't do that, it, it's going to hold the screen up because uh, the hinge is going to be a little bit bent here. So it's going to actually hold the screen actually up there. So now we have everything bent in and we're bending it down. Now the screw holes should line up. You can always move the top part of your top case and you can get a little bit of a better alignment. Um, I don't like to totally fully screw in everything yet. Um, obviously because you want to just at least match it up and bend it first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put... These back, they won't be extremely tight, but I want to make sure I put at least, um, fill up the holes here. All right. Okay, so now what I like to do, because it's a little bit in, I can just bend the screen a little bit up and back. Just a little bit there, so I can get a little bit of wiggle room, and it'll wiggle a little bit better in, and it'll fit better. Now I can screw it in a little bit tighter. Okay. This is kind of like now we're just kind of torquing it a little bit. Okay. So once that's done, the uh, next thing you want to do, of course, is uh, this one. This will be the... This will be the actual um, screw. I've actually noticed that they actually did do this a little bit differently here. Because uh, it, looks, it looks a little bit different than the older ones. But uh, you'd still have to go. So what you want to do is you want to lead the cables. And you want to lead them up like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to hook up. Yes, there they hook up. They hook up, man, because you got a MacBook, you know. So they're going to hook up. And they're going to go down like that. So now it's going to be kind of leveled. And this is where it's pretty important to actually put in those screws there. Because this is the next part where you want to um, put in the holder here. Because if you don't put these in right, or don't you, you don't put the screws in right here, where, where these screws were before, these four screws that we were talking about earlier, it's going to rub against uh, the LCD here. So if let's make sure that we just push this up, push it down, hold it down and push up on it. And then what we'll do is we'll put a few screws at a time in there. So you can see even the difference, how it wiggles. It makes a big difference on how you're going to actually have for your LCD to go in. So let's make sure we put these in right. And my screwdriver. <clears throat> so start with uh, the left to the right. And this part goes here. I'm not going to totally tighten it because I just want to hold it a little bit. And I'm going to be going on the right side as well. 
So I just want them to hold. And you'll see every all the screw holes should line up, so it shouldn't be giving you much trouble. Right, and now I'm going to be doing the center ones. It feels pretty good right now, but you never know because sometimes it doesn't. It's not perfect, and it needs to line up. So, but you should be going straight down. You should be having your hole be absolutely perfect because if it's not a perfect hole, you're going to have problems uh, when you bend it and fold it and stuff like that. Okay, so this is good enough. I know it's not. These ones aren't totally in all the side, but this will be at least good enough to know. No, if we did a good job on it. So now we can bend it and see if we have any problems. So looks good. So now we can just continue. And we're just going to be doing this basic in reverse now. So nothing really special to talk about here anymore. And uh, we'll see. We'll just kind of fast forward and then um, see how it, it kind of goes from there. For this, you want to make sure these lock in because they do have a locking mechanism on each side. So, I'm going to go slide up like this and slide up like that. You'll see it'll actually go up. You'll feel it too. So, once you get them up like that, then you can just clip and there should be a second clip. Clip, 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 clip. Yep, 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 yep. All right, clip, clip. So, it clips on the side, clips in the middle there, and this will line up totally fine. guys so we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the a2338 m1 macbook pro and that was just doing the screen replacement for it um we're very fortunate that the actual laptop does work itself um it just needed a screen switching from all that damage from that big impact that it actually had um please leave a like if you found this video very informative subscribe for more content and uh, please check out our store we recently did open up one and thanks a lot for watching bye